Welcome to Faith and Wellness, and together we continue our journey in our consecration to St. Joseph, the wonders of our spiritual father. The book was written by Donald H. Colloway, and um, we are on day 28. Congratulations. We are moving right along. Today, I will be talking about how St. Joseph is the comfort of the afflicted, and how uh, we're going to talk about the seven works of corporal mercy and the seven spiritual works of mercy as well, and how St. Joseph will comfort you in difficult times, and how uh, St. Joseph had a pious union with the Holy Family. Okay, so now, comforting. Nothing... Nothing will be refused to St. Joseph, neither by Our Lady nor by his glorious son. This is what St. Francis de Sales said. Comforting the afflicted is a work of mercy. The church has seven spiritual works of mercy and seven corporal works of mercy. The works of mercy help us to be devout followers of Jesus Christ by serving others. They help us to be like St. Joseph. The seven corporal works of mercy are as follows. Feed the hungry, give drink to the thirsty, clothe the naked, shelter the homeless, visit the prisoners, comfort the sick, bury the dead. The seven spiritual works of mercy are teach the ignorant, pray for the living and the dead, correct sinners in a loving way, counsel those in doubt, console the sorrowful, bear wrongs patiently forgive wrongs willingly the latin title sol solium miserorum is generally translated as comfort of the afflicted but it can also be rendered solace of the miserable or solace of those in misery experiencing misery or feeling miserable is not pleasant Yet, the reality is that we are all going to have miserable moments in life. This world is a valley of tears, and everyone is going to suffer. There is no way around it, whether it's financial problems, marital hardships, psychological struggles, difficulties in relationships, the death of loved ones, or thousand other matters. We will all experience misery in life. It's good to have someone we can turn to for comfort and solace in such times. St. Joseph will comfort you in difficult times. Life is filled with many sorrows. Loved ones will die, children sometimes rebel, and gravity will eventually take away your youthfulness, making you old and immobile. No matter what life brings, however, St. Joseph will always be your consolation, comfort, and solace he knows well the hardships of life he is a kind of loving father he comforts everyone who comes to him in times of affliction his fatherhood is unlikely any other let us command ourselves to our good father saint joseph who is the patriarch of troubled people since he himself went through so much trouble. This is what St. Joseph Morello said. A loving father provides comfort to his children, especially when they are growing, they are going through difficulties. A father's wisdom and presence are reassuring and life-giving. Knowing you can give knowing you can always go to your father in difficult times reassures you that everything will be okay even when your world seems to be falling apart. Regrettably, many people have never experienced this kind of love from a, a father. Many people today have grown up with emotionally abusive, distant, and less than virtuous fathers. This has led many people to experience great anxieties and fears in life, as well as a tremendous sense of insecurity. God wants you to rest in St. Joseph's fatherhood. St. Joseph will never abandon you, no matter what you are experiencing. 
or what your experience of fatherhood has been. St. Joseph will always be there for you. He is your spiritual dad, and he loves you. He will never hurt you. He would give his life for you a million times over. When life has your when life has you down, run to your spiritual father. Pour out your heart to him. Tell him your troubles. He is the most loving of fathers. He is always available for you, always attentive, always understanding. If discouragement overwhelms you, think of the faith of St. Joseph. If anxiety has its grip on you, think of the hope of St. Joseph. If exasperation or hatred sees you, think of the love of St. Joseph, who was the first man to set eyes on the human face of God. In that person of the infant, conceived by the Holy Spirit and in the womb of the Virgin Mary. Let us praise and thank Christ for having drawn so close to us and for giving us Joseph as an example and model of love. This is what Pope Benedict XVI said. Now I'm going to read Pious Union of St. Joseph, and then I will do the Litany of St. Joseph. Then I will be doing the memorary to St. We will be praying together the memorary of St. Joseph. Pious Union of St. Joseph. Will he, the great saint, whom Jesus and Mary obey, who provided Jesus and Mary with their daily bread, be invoked in vain? No. Saint Luigi Ganella said that. Saint Joseph is never invoked in vain. Jesus had total confidence in the comforting love of his virginal father. Jesus wants us to experience the wonders of living in union with Saint Joseph as well. Which one of you would hand his son a stone when he asked for a loaf of bread or a snake when he asked for a fish? If you then, who are wicked, know how to give good food to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give you? Father, give good things to those who ask. And this is in Matthew chapter 7, verses 9 to 11. In the scripture passage above, Jesus is teaching us about the love of his heavenly Father. Yet, his teaching of Jesus also applies to our spiritual Father, St. Joseph. He is an icon of the heavenly Father. In St. Joseph's steadfast love, we can have total confidence. The life and work of St. Luigi Ganella offers an offers us an example of having total confidence in St. Joseph. Born and raised in Italy, St. Luigi spent his entire priesthood doing corporal and spiritual works of mercy for others. He looked after orphans, cared for those with mental and physical disabilities, helped abandoned elderly people, clothed the homeless, and fed the poor. Zealous to help everyone in need, He founded two religious congregations to continue performing the works of mercy, the servants of charity, and the daughters of Mary. Devotion to St. Joseph was the heart of St. Louis, Luigi's life and mission. He made certain that both of the religious communities he founded strove to be in constant union with St. Joseph, seeing in him a model and a patron for all their charitable works. In many homes, St. Luigi established to meet the needs of others. He emphasized that devotion to St. Joseph needed to flourish, especially devotion to St. Joseph as the patron of the dying, because he believed that the works of mercy were fruitless if they did not help people acquire a relationship with the Lord and experience a holy and happy death like that of St. Joseph. St. Luigi's devotion to St. Joseph was so well known that St. Paul Pius X invited him to build a church near the Vatican in honor of St. Joseph. St. Luigi was delighted by the invitation of the Pope and began construction immediately. Not surprisingly, St. Luigi dedicated a new church to honoring St. Joseph's holy and happy death. 
The church took four years to complete and was consecrated on March 19, 1912. The church St. Luigi built in honor of St. Joseph is located in the Triumphal region of Rome. It is known as St. Giuseppe of Triumphalli. St. Pope Pius X had also encountered St. Luigi to initiate an apostolate that would offer daily prayers for the suffering and the dying. In 1913, St. Luigi launched an international association of intercessors for the suffering and the dying. He named the association the Pious Union of St. Joseph, and St. Pope Pius X became the first official member. The headquarters of the Pious Union of St. Joseph is located right next to the church of San San Giuseppe al Triomphale. International branches of the Pious Union of St. Joseph are located throughout the world. In the United States, the Pious Union of St. Joseph is headquarters in Grass Lake, Michigan. My dear St. Joseph, be with me leaving, be with me dying, and obtain for me a favorable judgment from Jesus, my merciful Savior. This is what Pope Leo XIII said. St. Joseph, my dear father, gaze upon me from heaven. Detach me from the things of the earth. Obtain for me purity of heart, love of God and final perseverance. This is what Blese Bartolo Longo said. And now, please join me. Uh, I'm going to go over the quote of the day. Nothing will be refused him, St. Joseph, neither by Our Lady nor by His glorious Son. This is what St. Francis de Sales said. Now, join me in prayer with the litany of St. Joseph. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Christ hear us, Christ graciously hear us. God the Father in heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Illustrious Son of David, Pray for us, light of patriarchs. Pray for us, spouse of the mother of God. Pray for us, guardian of the redeemer. Pray for us, pure guardian of the virgin. Pray for us, provider for the son of God. Pray for us, zealous defender of Christ. Pray for us, servant of Christ. Pray for us, minister of salvation. Pray for us, head of the holy family. Pray for us, Joseph most pure. Pray for us. Joseph most just, pray for us. Joseph most chaste, pray for us. Joseph most prudent, pray for us. Joseph most brave, pray for us. Joseph most obedient, pray for us. Joseph most loyal, pray for us. Mirror of patience, pray for us. Lover of poverty, pray for us. Model for workers, pray for us. Glory of family life, pray for us. Guardian of virgins, pray for us. Cornerstone of families, pray for us. Support in difficulties, pray for us. Comfort of the sorrowing, pray for us. Hope of the sick, pray for us. Patron of exiles, pray for us. Patron of the afflicted, pray for us. Patron of the poor, pray for us. Patron of the dying, pray for us. Terror of demons, pray for us. Protector of the Holy Church, pray for us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. He made him master of his house and ruler of all his possessions. Let us pray. O God, who in your inexpressible providence were pleased to choose St. Joseph as the spouse of your most holy mother, grant, we pray, that we who revere him as our protector on earth may be worthy of his heavenly intercession, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. 
Now we're praying the memory to St. Joseph. Remember, O oh, most chaste spouse of the Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who implored your help and sought your intercession were left unassisted. Full of confidence in your power, I fly on to you and beg your protection for me and my family and all my loved ones. Despise not, O oh guardian of the Redeemer, my humble supplication, but in your bounty, hear and answer me. Amen. And tomorrow, we will be doing day number 29. Hope of the sick, pray for us. And we are going to be learning how he, you know, when people are sick, he gives a lot of hope. And we're also going to be learning about motive masses. This is a special mass. We'll be learning about that. I can't wait to share this with you tomorrow. May you have a wonderful day. And remember, pray without ceasing. And may the Lord bless you always. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.